Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be part one in the review series of my Lemax Spooky Town pieces that I currently own. So this piece that I'm about to show you is actually the very first piece that I bought. I got it last year from Menards when I just happened to be shopping around, looking at their Halloween decorations, which is one of my favorite things to do at this time of year, just going in to random stores, seeing what they've got for fall and Halloween. So at the time when I was at Menards, they had their spooky town set up and I thought it was really cool and it always catches my eye and like Michael's always has a display too and I've always thought it was such a cool fun thing that I would love to get into but I've never really had the room up until we moved into this house and it wasn't until last year when I saw this piece that I was like you know what it would be really fun to start a spooky town collection and I have the room for it there's a perfect spot in my living room where I can just set up a table or whatever for now so I went ahead I got this piece the theming is like definitely my style and when I show it to you you'll know exactly why it was perfect for me. So let me go ahead and show you the piece. Okay, so here is the piece. It is called the Witch Gazebo. Now let me show you the box first. So on the front and the two sides, it shows you the item picture. And then if you move around to the back, it's got all of the items information. So it labels this one as just a table accent, which means that there's no lights, no sounds, no music or animatronics. Um, and it's called the Witch Gazebo. So it's got the name right there. It's got the UPC, the SKU number and the item number, and then the year that it came out. So last year, the year that I got it is actually the year that it came out. I don't know for sure if this one is coming back out again this year. I, I'm not too familiar with how often Lee Max retires their pieces so my only suggestion is that if you come across a piece that you absolutely love and you can afford it get it don't wait um so let's move on over here to the piece and here it is it is just so adorable i love everything about this piece so as you can tell it's witch themed it's a gazebo it's got a little frog here a little toady it's got a cauldron and black cats, jack-o'-lanterns, I mean, gosh, everything, even these little adorable jack-o'-lantern fake lights. So I definitely had to have this piece and I'm so happy with it. Um, I did open up this piece before I ended up checking out. I remember making sure that I wanted to have a piece that was intact and not walking away with a broken piece. So that's another one of my tips is when you're buying these, you know, maybe let an employee know, ask to go off to the side, hey, can I open this just to make sure that everything's intact and so that it doesn't look like you're stealing or anything. But, you know, make sure that when you're walking away with the item, it's all in one piece and not in pieces if it's not supposed to be. So here we'll get a closer look down at the bottom. There's just something to see around every corner. So I'll turn it a little this way. So you've got like a grumpy jack-o'-lantern there, a black cat, a rat, kind of a happy jack-o'-lantern there, spider on the stairs. And I love how these are made to look like wooden stairs. Then you've got little chubby toady right there, kind of a goofy jack-o'-lantern, another black cat kind of like a menacing looking jack-o'-lantern there and then broomsticks as columns these adorable little plastic jack-o'-lantern lights and then this detailing on the roof this cute little happy halloween banner on top and there's like a black crow up there as well and if you peek inside, you can see a little mouse or a rat and the cauldron with some bubbling green stew going on in there, a black cat right there. And then if we circle around to the back, there's another little creature back here and it's a bat. So I just, I love all the detailing too here on the stonework. I love this piece just so much. The theming is perfect and all of the details I'm just obsessed with. So I think once I get my display set up, I am going to put this in more of the downtown area of my display. I'm gonna have like a suburbs and a downtown area. And I think this would look 
really cool in the little downtown spooky town area. One last little look around. Well, there you have it, a closer look at the Witch Gazebo piece from Limax Spooky Town, the piece that kickstarted my obsession and one that I'll always look at and remember how it started this fun hobby for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!